Dick by Sam Trout. Who's there? Barnardo. Number Dick 365 Transmission 136 through 131. What would it take to make you leave everything behind? Knocking within. The, the greatest fear that I have regarding um, the outcome uh, for America of these disclosures is that nothing will change. Um, people will see in the media uh, all of these disclosures. They'll know the lengths that the, the government is going to grant themselves powers unilaterally um, to create greater control over American society and global society. But they they won't be willing to take the risks necessarily to stand up and fight to change things, to force their representatives to actually take a stand in their interests. Uh, and the months ahead, the, the years ahead, it's only going to get worse until eventually there will be a time where uh, policies will change because the only thing that restricts the activities of the surveillance state are policy. Uh, even our agreements with, with other sovereign governments, we consider that to be uh, a stipulation of policy rather than a stipulation of law. And because of that, a new leader will be elected. They'll flip the switch, uh, say that um, because of the crisis because of the dangers that we face in the world, you know, some, some new and unpredicted threat, we need more authority, we need more power, and there will be nothing the people can do at that point to oppose it, uh, and it will be turnkey tyranny. Organized crime has so penetrated our lives, we cannot reveal everything we know, but stop at a certain threshold, a line that must not be traversed, beyond which Encased in silence and darkness, the truth hangs like a specter. Before the law, there stands a god. A man comes from the country, begging admittance to the law. But the god cannot admit him. Can he hope to enter at a later time? That is possible, says the god. The man tries to peer through the entrance. He had been taught that the law should be accessible to every man. Do not attempt to enter without my permission, says the god. I am very powerful, yet I am the least of all the gods. From hall to hall, door after door, each god is more powerful than the last. By the god's permission, the man sits down by the side of the door, and there he waits. Knock. For years, he waits. Everything he has, he gives away in the hope of bribing the God, who never fails to say to him, I take what you give me, only so that you will not feel that you have left something undone. Keeping his watch during the long years, the man has learned to know even the fleas and the God's fur collar. And growing childish in old age, he begs the very fleas to persuade the god to change his mind and allow him to enter. His sight is dimmed, but in the darkness he perceives a radiance streaming immortally from the door of the law. And now, before he dies, all his experience condenses into one question, a question he is not... Trap door opens. He beckons to the god. Says the god, you are insatiable. What is it now? Says the man, every man strives to attain the law. How is it then? But in all these years, no one else has ever come here, seeking admittance. His hearing has failed, so the guard yells into his ear. No one else but you could ever have obtained admittance. No one else could enter this door. This door was intended only for you. And now, I am going to close it. Characters a catacomb of trap doors, secret gardens, and facades, mirrors redouble, every eye dotted invisibly by demise. But no direct path leads to fate, that's the fun. Sensations, human thunderstorms, explosive patterns. But we have to close our eyes. I 
Sita Kanchante, eyes that change, changeable as changeable silk, silk that refracts as bearer walks in sunlight into shade, from Piazza, say, San Marco, into sun-charged shadowy arcade, or under trees, green, green, and between blue, 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 bluish blue. I shut myself inside. With time, I forget everything. End transmission.